Alright, hello YouTube, VB Game Maker. Uh, sorry it's taking me so long to post some videos. I've been really busy with school and whatnot, work, everything. So, I'm finally going to start my tutorials today. Now, we're going to start off by building a simple tile map. That's my eventual goal, is that we can work our way up to a tile engine, but we'll start with a tile map. Now, I need to warn you that you're going to need some experience in Visual Basics. This won't be, you know, a hold your hand right from the beginning. I'm going to be explaining concepts that I hope you already understand, like arrays, objects, and everything. I might do some tutorials on object-oriented programming, because that's generally a, a not, it's not very touched on in Visual Basics. But we'll just start off today with using GDI function, which is basically the built-in paint method. So as you can see here, I've already started a, a form for us, so we just have our form with tutorial on it. Today we're just going to focus on getting a graphic to appear, so maybe like a little tile, kind of like my tile engine. So, first things first, you can see this commented code I have right here. By adding this in on your form load, basically what you're doing is you're allowing a double buffer, and you're changing the way that Visual Basics draws to the form. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail. just Put this in your code, oops, wrong one, right at the start, and it'll run a lot faster. Don't even touch it after that. All right, so first things first, we want to draw a tile to the form. We're going to need an object of bitmap, all right? A bitmap is basically just going to take an image from one of our file locations and allow us to draw it to the form. So up here at the top, I'm going to create a new bitmap, so call it dim image one as uh, sorry here my computer's really lagging right now it's a piece of crap it's a bitmap all right so we have our image this is what's going to hold one of our tile images all right so now when the form loads we want to initialize this because you can notice it's a bitmap and bitmap is actually an object so we need to make an object of the bitmap so down here we're going to go image oops, image 1 equals a new bitmap and put two brackets there. Now, we need to feed into it an argument, right? Because when we first initialize this bitmap our, uh, object, it needs an argument. And it accepts in either an image argument or a string argument. And your string argument can be to a file location. Now, you can place your pictures inside of your actual setup. So you go here, I've already saved it on my computer. Here's our VB tutorial file. Now you're going to double click on it. You're going to go into the bin, the debug. And as you can see, inside the debug area, I've placed two images. One is grass, and one is a little player, which we're going to use later on. So. See the grass right here? All I have to do because it's in my debug folder is come back here and write grass2 and then whatever file type it is, which is a bitmap. Now, just because it's a bitmap object doesn't mean it won't accept GIFs or JPEGs. You can use whatever you wish. I prefer to use bitmap, just my preference. Right? So now we have an object of bitmap which we can draw to the form. Now we're going to come up here. See, we're on form events. We're going to come over, click here, go down to paint. All right, this is basically where we can start painting to the form. Now, to paint this image to the form, all we need to do is use the draw image function. So, very simply, we're just going to write E for our Windows Systems Form paint argument, dot graphics, dot draw. As you can see, there's a lot of choices, but we want to use the draw image function. All right, now, put two little brackets there. Here's where it gets interesting. This little fella accepts a whole bunch of arguments. We're going to start off with the really, really simple. We want to draw an image at a specified location. So we can feed to it our image1 bitmap, comma, its location. Let's say we want to draw it 0, 0. All right, so now it's going to draw our image which is grass from our folder at location 00, zero on our form so we can click debug here let it set up this is the first time I debugged this program so it might take a second it's gonna come up 
as you see it's drawn our grass tile at location zero zero All right and again this can be used to draw it anywhere we want but I want to go into something else very interesting about this All right and the other interesting part is you can actually edit the size of your image so let's say right now the standard is 60 by 60 I'll just prove that All right so this image is dimension 60 by 60 let's say I want to change it let's say I want it to be 30 by 30 so the next two arguments I can send to it are sizes I want to make its X size 30 and its Y size 30 so now when I run the program so you can see the tiles a lot smaller and this is basically all I was doing when I was running my tile editor and you saw the tiles were a lot smaller was I was using that size modifier alright and let's add one more thing and let's get rid of this so it's back to its 60 by 60 size let's say we want to draw a character on top well just so happens I've got a character I'm just gonna rename it here because I don't feel like typing that all in rename we'll call our character Jack all right Jack we want you to draw we want to draw you on the grass so we're gonna come up here we're gonna make a new bitmap dim image 2 as bitmap come down here image 2 equals new bitmap jack dot bmp so now we have jack now we need to draw jack so e dot graphics draw image image 2 at 0 0 because I want to draw jack over the grass now it's important the order I draw this in just like my tile engine where I have layers you always want to draw the ground first then the then the things that are gonna go on top All right so this should when we click play short two images but you can see there's a problem the original image has all this black in the background we want to get rid of the black so here's what we're gonna do there's another little nice method built in where we can make a certain color transparent right so as you can see the background is black and I did that for a reason so we can come up to the form load and we can go image two dot make transparent brackets color dot and then you can select from a list of colors the color you want to make transparent we're just gonna go with black now it's important that you put this outside of the form paint right if I wanted to I can move this down into the paint method but when we start running timers later on and refresh the graphics we don't want it to every single time make the image transparent black that's just gonna bog down so it's important when you make the image boom make it transparent once and it'll always be transparent for that color alright so we're gonna come up here and debug and now this time as you can see Jack fits perfectly onto the tile and he's see-through you he can't see the black it looks like he's standing on that grass tile now if I really wanted to I could you know edit his X size because I believe it was a little bit off so we'll edit his X and Y size make it 60 by 60 just for the fun of it All right you can see Jack fits on that tile alright so that's just a basic starting of how to set up and draw images now this right here this little section of code you could do it up here in the declaration area but it's generally not the professional thing you want to do in programming you definitely you want to declare them up here but you don't want to actually activate them until something's happened when you've loaded the form All right. so I know it starts off really easy today we're gonna to make this harder we're gonna start off you know later on by drawing arrays of these tile images and how to better process them and draw them faster and catalog them I promise that's coming I'll try and get them up as soon as I can uh, I, I will put up another of my uh, tile engine videos today. All right, I'm still working on that. I made a few improvements, so hope you guys enjoy. And uh, if you want me to do like an object-oriented programming series, because I know that's pretty important in today's programming world, just uh, leave me a link in the just leave me a message in the comments below. Awesome. Bye.